Hi everyone! I just got the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. So this would be a video of my unboxing as well as a quick review on some of the features that I've liked in the first 24 hours of owning the phone. Subscribe and click the bell button if you want to be notified of future review videos. And roll the intro! Okay, then that's gonna go on. And welcome back. For those of you who are new here, I'm Angie, and I am an Android girl. <laughs> My last phone was a Note 8, and I will be showing you some of the features that are in the Note 10 Plus that I really like over the Note 8. So I actually unboxed this already, so this is not the first time of me unboxing it, but I will still show you what's inside. I got this yesterday when it was first released, and we were at Outback waiting for dinner, and I couldn't wait to open it, so I just filmed a quick little video as we were waiting. So, but I'll show it to you now. All right, so this is the box. It has the S Pen, which is a huge feature on the Note 10 Plus and you open it and you have the phone. So the color I got is the Aura Glow and it's kind of got like an iridescent rainbowy um, with like a chromatic look, which I love. I love it so much that I've actually replaced my wallet case with this clear case so that I can look at this. And I think it's so cool, it's so extra. So if it's me and just has a piece of paper that you take out and in here you have a pair of wired earbuds which I found interesting because they took out the headphone jack on the Note 10s and Note 10 Plus so I'm not sure why they would include this but they did and then we just have the charger which is USB-C and then this is the wall socket plug and that's all that's in here and if you look at the lid it's a Samsung and there's a tab at the very top that you can pull out like this and in here will be the pamphlet talking about the phone and on the back of it it has this little device which at the top of the note 10 plus there's a slot for your sim card so you would take this out stick it all the way in until the tray pops out and put in your own sim card because it won't work without it and that's pretty much it because I pre-ordered, they gave me $200 store credit. So with that, I bought these earbuds, which are wireless. I bought a battery pack and a LED wallet cover, which I don't know if I'll use because I really like the clear case. But I will do another separate video that talks about these two accessories more in depth. With that being said, our phones are like mini computers and there are so many features that sometimes we overlook them or just forget about them. So here are a few that I think would be very beneficial to remember and to get familiar with. So the first thing I like is the text icon. When you are browsing a different page and you get a text message, it will pop up as a floating icon anywhere on your screen, you can move it. And the cool thing about it is you click this button and it will pull up a little square and you can reply to the message right there. Or you can hit this button right here and expands it, taking you to the actual texting app. You can hit this button right here to shrink it back into the little icon. And then this one right here is to change the transparency of it. So you can see what's underneath the text messaging app. And this button right here just clears it out of the way completely. The second one is the fingerprint scanner is now on the glass. On my Note 8, it was back here by the camera. And I have long nails. With my phone case, I was never able to fully put my finger onto the scanner. So I never used it. Now that it's in the front, it's so much easier to use. The third thing is the screen recorder. Now, many of you are very familiar with screen recorder or screen recording because I believe it's a built-in feature on Apple products. It wasn't for Androids, not until now, for me at least. It didn't have it on the Note 8. And I used to have to download an app, a third-party app, 
in order to screen record. But now it's built in. You just pull down your drop down menu and swipe until you find it. Screen recording, I think, is awesome because there's some things that you just can't show with a simple screenshot. So I really like that it's built in now. The fourth thing is the quick measure. Now this is pretty cool. So with this, you open it and you scan around the room. Once you have done that, you can pull an object in front of it and it will show you a rough measurement. It won't be 100% accurate, but it will get pretty close. So I think this would be really useful if you are out trying to buy a couch and you're trying to see if this is gonna fit in your space or not and you somehow went couch shopping without a tape measure, you can pull out your phone and get a rough estimate. It's, it's decently close. The fifth one I'm super excited about. It's called Bixby Routines. You have a if this happens, then this happens. For example, I have set up if I go to a certain location, aka McDonald's, then the McDonald's app will automatically pull up when it senses me in that area. Now you can do this with if a certain time happens, say that you wake up at 8 in the morning. So if it's 8 in the morning, the phone will show you your list of to do's today as well as the weather. So there's so many different things that you could do for that. Another one would be YouTube. If I open YouTube app and I flip my phone, it will automatically rotate for me. There's so many things that you could do with the Bixby routine. If a certain time of night, your phone will dim itself and kind of helps you wind down. If at a certain time of night, you forget to plug in your phone, it will turn it to power saving mode. So lots of if and then scenarios. You should definitely check that out. And you can do that by just swiping down on your notification bar and it's just scroll until you find it. Sixth thing I'm also super, super excited about. It's called wireless charge share. And what that is, is I can give my battery power to another wireless charging device. So what I have here, you drop down and you scroll until you find wireless power share. You turn that on, and what I have here is the earbuds. So the back of your phone, you just place it. And as you can see, it's lit up and it's charging from my phone. How cool is that? I have also tried this with a iPhone. I didn't know if it will work or not, it's considering Samsung, Apple, but I will show you. Take your Note 10, pull up your wireless power share, and then place it back to back, and now it's charging it. So I think that's super, super awesome if you are out with a friend and their battery is running low and they have the wireless charging feature, you can actually give them power. If you're out somewhere and you need just a little bit quick charge on your earbuds, you can with the back of your phone. Now, it will stop charging any device if you hit 30% battery on your phone. It will not charge anymore after that. I think it's such a cool feature because you can, it will prevent your phone from draining all the way down to zero. So it stops at 30%. All right, and the seventh thing that I like about it is a thing called separate app sound. What you can do is while you are playing a game on your phone with game sound on, you wanna be listening to Spotify or YouTube. What you could do with this separate app sound is you can have the game playing on your phone. Meanwhile, the music that you're playing or the show you're watching on Netflix can be broadcasted on a different device. That could be a Bluetooth speaker, that could be your TV, anything that you can connect to with a Bluetooth. And I think that's awesome. Sometimes with the games that I play, will pause my music whenever there's an ad or an important scene, and I don't want my music to be interrupted. So this is a really cool feature that they added. Now, I have saved the best for last, and you've guessed it, it's the S Pen. I know that they changed it to a Bluetooth pen with a Note 9, but like I said, I had the 8, so this feature was new to me. The S Pen is still down here by the charging port, and you just pop it out like this. 
and it's very, very pretty blue. This is what I love about it. You can long press on the button right here and it will pull up the camera. And with air gestures, you can hold the pen in your hand and while pushing the button, it will do different things for you. So, holding the pen in my hand, I'm just gonna press down and hold the button on the side. And now the camera app is open. And it's facing you, but if I hold it and I swipe up like this, now it's me. So this makes it super, super convenient if you're taking group photos, you can prop this up against something or on a tripod and you can take group photos with this. Now, going back to the pen and the camera, if you just click it once, it takes the picture. Just like that. You can also swipe side to side and it will change between the different modes of photo, video, slow-mo, all of the different things without having to touch your phone. Another thing that you could do with the S Pen is if you have Spotify open. I haven't tested it with other apps. Spotify is my go-to music app. So if you wanna turn it up, swipe up like this. And then if you wanna turn it down, swipe down. Just like that. And if you want to change it to the next song, swipe right. If you want to listen to the previous song or start the song over, swipe to the left. So it's that easy. You could be doing whatever it is you're doing. As long as you have your pen in your hand, you can change all those settings. I'm in love with this S Pen. I would do a whole nother video on what it's capable of. This has to be my favorite thing. I definitely saved the best for last. So I really like the features that they've added. And although the screen is pretty big, the phone doesn't feel bulky. If you're still on the fence about getting the Samsung Galaxy Note 10, 10 Plus, 10 Plus 5G, I would suggest going to somewhere like Best Buy or you can actually get your hands on one and see the features yourself and hold it in your hand and see how cool this rainbow is. But personally, I am a huge fan and this is my first 24 hours and I love it already. And that's it for today. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and also let me know which of the features that I mentioned you like the most or you see it to be the most beneficial. I will be uploading more Note 10 Plus videos, so subscribe, follow my Instagram if you want to be notified. Thanks for watching. Action. <laughs> Turn it on. I'm trying. I think it's this one. All right, let's see. Oh my God.